All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, good morning for those who live in the state, and good afternoon for those who live in uh, Europe, and good evening for those who live in South Asia. Um, uh, today I'm going to share with you uh, a topic which is in the news. And, you know, as always, we don't come with things is not really uh, documented or re reference, proves, etc. When we speak to Muslims about Islam, Muslims, they claim that when you convert to Islam, you became happy, your life changed, you are a different person. Me, myself, I am born in the Middle East. I grew up in the Middle East. Arab, Arabic is my first language. Therefore, therefore people, they call me Arab. <clears throat> Yet, I did not see any of the Muslims around me are happy. Not even close. Actually, they are always angry and satisfied. And they want to burn something. They want to beat something. They beat themselves. They beat their family. They beat their friends. Women, they cannot walk in the street. The street. They are sexually unhappy. Sexually not sexually not oriented, perverted minded, dirty mouthes. But yet they claim that when you became a Muslim, you are a different person. I could not find that, and I challenge any Muslim to show me the proof. Today our topic is about a sheikh from Al Azhar. <clears throat> a sheikh from Al Azhar University. In case you do not know what Al Azhar University, this is supposedly the highest authority of education, uh, which is located in Egypt. Uh, the Azhar is where, if you want to become an Imam of a mosque, a scholar, a teacher, you want to earn a PhD, this is where you should go. To Al Azhar University. The gentleman in front of us in the screen, which really I believe that this man he is a good man. He is a blind man. I don't know if you cannot if you can notice that. He did commit a crime, and the crime is unfor unforgiving kind. What the crime of this guy? What exactly he did? He sang a song in a public TV station. All the Muslims in the world are so upset and disgusted because this guy, he sang a song for a woman, her, a lady, her name is Ummu Kalthum. Uh, this is the Muslim website. It's all over the internet, you know, like the web Muslim website is called Anhar. But anyway, you, you can find it in the Arabia TV, Al Jazeera TV. Everybody is speaking about the crime this guy he committed. How disgusting. <clears throat> this poor man, he's a blind man. And obviously, he was accepted in the business of Imam in a mosque because he had a very nice voice. And you know, in, in case you do not know, the Muslims, they use voices of men who have nice voices in order to promote Islam and in order to make people love Islam. <clears throat> so I bring you a guy who have a very nice voice and then he starts singing the Quran. This guy, whatever he's saying is going to sound beautiful because he have a nice, beautiful voice. So this guy, he was invited to a TV station program. And this is him in the TV station, you know. Uh, and as we said, he have a, you know, obviously he's blind. But he really have a very nice voice. You know, I heard him. He have really a nice voice. And then the comments start coming in Twitter. And Muslims are going crazy. <clears throat> this person he is saying, a very disgusting scene. It is very humiliating to see a sheikh from Al-Azhar singing song 
on the Egyptian TV. And then he said, continue and saying, do you think we are going to go more to the bottom more than this? What this guy he did? A Muslim woman, her name is Sosan, she said, a sheikh from Al Azhar, he is singing, this is very nice and so beautiful. What is disgusting about it? If you go to Twitter, guys, Twitter is going crazy. If you go to Twitter, Twitter is going crazy about this. And immediately after that, the Azhar University, they announced that they put this man under investigation and they stop him from practicing his job as an imam of a mosque. And what is the crime? <clears throat> He sang a song. The song does not have like the F word or something discussed. You know, it's like, it's a nice song actually, you know. If I translate the word in Arabic, it says, do you remember our love? Uh, it says, it's nothing wrong with it, you know. And then I say to myself, what's wrong with this religion? You know, if you are a Muslim, what does that mean exactly? They allowed them to go and have a child molestation Sex with the children. It's okay to to uh, to have slaves and rape them. It's okay to beat your wife. It's okay to call people infidel, pigs, monkeys, nudges, dirty, or you name it. But it's not okay to sing a song. Haram. It's haram. What this poor guy he did. I can tell this guy all his life is dreaming to be one day in TV and people they hear his voice and he have a very beautiful voice. If I am him, <clears throat> if I am him, I will tell him, you know what? Get lost, all of you. You have a beautiful voice. You do not need to work as an imam for those scumbags. Obviously, they are using him. They wanted his voice only to be a singing Quran. This is just a human like everybody. So what, you know, imagine if I am a priest. Huh? I'm a priest. I'm not. Just take a note. And I sang a song. So what? What happened? Why does God and this religion hate a human being to be happy? What's the problem with Allah if he sing a song? The Muslims, they allowed themselves to sing songs for Muhammad. For Muhammad. Actually, I have a video here. I wish I can play it, but I don't want to. Uh, people they will say here like a copyright, and, and they would they would flag my video. I don't want to get them excuse. The Muslims in the mosque they are singing in English for almost twenty minutes, praising Muhammad and the light of Muhammad. So you can sing as long as you are praising the light of Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? Is he God? What light of Muhammad? Since when Muhammad he have a light? Why this poor man, he cannot be happy and he have no right to be happy? What he did? A poor blind man, he dreaming all his life to sing. So people hear him. And now finally he is in TV. And this is why they invited him, because he have a beautiful voice. They did not invite him because uh, he isn't, uh, you know, a, a, a stupid idiot. He have no idea what he... His voice is very nice. He can be actually... A very nice singer he is just let us say unlucky person to have uh, to be blind but sometime you know like uh, it's a blessing to be blind because those blind people they, they have they have uh, they are talented God he gave them something in return I never saw a blind man he is not smarter than people around him they are smarter the way they listen to you they are smarter the way they observe things they are deeper because they are not deceived by the image of the eye, which mostly is a, is a false image. They are not deceived of a fake beauty. A blind man, he see the inner, not the outside. But this is not new in Islam. If we go in the Quran, you will see that Muhammad himself, he make fun of a blind people. There's a chapter actually in the Quran where Muhammad, when a, when a blind man, he came to him, hmm? Muhammad, he kicked him out from his house. Let me show you. 
a blind a blind man in Islam have no luck he does not exist he's like a cockroach and this is goes for every Muslim not only for blind man but blind man specifically he is out of luck this is a chapter what hold on not this one Abbas Watawalla chapter 80 verse number one the prophet frowned and turned away turned away from who from who from a blind man what kind of a prophet he turned away from a blind man imagine guys a Christian prince he is uh, coming here to teach you about Jesus and he is claiming to be a good Christian which I don't really claim but then you see me in the street a blind man is asking me for help and now what I say to him get lost and not only this is happening from someone he is a normal Muslim he it is happening from someone he claiming to be a prophet and then if you go and see the interpretation of the verse you will see that the prophet was busy with some rich people of Quraysh ah so I have time for the rich people the poor blind man he have to get lost because he is just a stupid dumb blind man I'm not the one who's saying that this is how Muhammad is seeing guys don't forget please to copy the, the link of the podcast and paste in Facebook so we can get more people here people are not expecting me to be up early and as long it is not allowed to sing songs in Islam so why you Muslims hypocrite you have all of you I I challenge one Muslim don't listen to music I challenge one Muslim don't watch me dancing Even the month of Ramadan is nothing but a prostitution and belly dancing. And now this guy, this poor guy, he became the criminal. He just sang a song. And there's no women are naked there. And nobody doing striptease. And he is not drinking alcohol. And he is not taking drugs. So what is the problem? This is a very much hypocrite society. And this is the opposite of the God of the Christians. My God, he want me to be happy. My God is not getting upset if I am singing a song. My God is not upset if I am even dancing. What's wrong with that? Why I should not dance? Why? What kind of God he will be upset from you from being happy and singing? And you are not using it like a bad language or it's just a beautiful song about love. God is love, my friend. If your God is a true God, he should love this man. You Muslims, you have a weird God. If a Muslim, he farted Allah, he don't accept his prayer. If a Muslim, he eat garlic, he cannot go to the mosque. If a Muslim, he, uh, uh, you know, uh, he eat uh, with, with, the, with, the, with the left hand, the shaitan will eat with him. If a Muslim enter the bathroom, shaitan will play with his anus. If a Muslim is asleep in his in his stomach, shaitan will do him bing, bing, bing in his anus when he is sleeping. I mean, what's wrong with you? So what do you, what do, what do you live for? What is left? This religion wants you to be contained, to be like a robot machine controlled by the remote control of Muhammad. Muhammad is dead, but he's, yet he's controlling you. He tell you what to eat. He tell you what to say. He tell you what not to say. He tell you what word to say. He tell you when you do it, when you cannot do it, what time. Even the prayer is not a choice of you. You have to pray. And if you don't pray, you will be arrested. Why? Isn't it beautiful that we have a beautiful God who wants us to be happy? Do you think this God, he, what, we are just uh, uh, bacteria? Are we bacteria? Even bacteria, they have their own party. The party of the bacteria is to have food. They are enjoying it. 
and maybe they have different uh, entertainment we don't know <laughs> you know all the creatures in the world god he gave them gifts to enjoy their life it doesn't matter what kind of creatures they are even the insects why islam wanna destroy anything beautiful in the life of a human being and especially in a blind man i mean this guy is as a blind man for god's sake leave him alone when a blind man came to jesus what the blind man asked jesus for what jesus says to the blind people don't sing songs you are not allowed you are not exist you are not a human you are just a scumbag you are punished by god no he gave them eyes the blind man he says to him lord i want to have i want to see the messiah he said okay see he gave him what he want muhammad when the blind man came to him he kicked him away and then the news spread and the Arabs start talking what kind of a prophet and the Christians start talking and the, 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 what they call them Nasara and those who they are Jews they start talking saying what kind of a prophet he turn away from a blind man and kick him away from his house saying I'm busy so Muhammad in order to clean his image in the front of the of the Arab he made this verse claiming that Allah he says to him why you do that why you do that huh you should not do that Where was Allah before Muhammad? He do that. The Muslim, by the way, they say to you, the Prophet is masoom. What masoom mean? They say to you, he is protected from bad behavior. He is perfect. Was he perfect when he turned away from the blind man? Was he perfect in chapter at uh, Tahrim, verse number one, when he forbid something supposedly is not forbidden for him? What what perfect you are talking about? And the same time, the hypocrisy of the Muslims is amazing. Did your prophet watch girls singing for him? This is the hadith of Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih hadith. That once Abu Bakr come to her, to her who? To Aisha. On the day of Al-Fitr. Or Al-Adha. By the way, they are confused about Al-Fitr or Al-Adha because both of them, they are the same as Adha. You know, both of them, they slaughter these, they slaughter on them. While the prophet was with her, and there were two girls, singers with her, singing songs. And the song is about Muhammad. Even the song is about Muhammad. Abu Bakr, he said, the instrument of the devil in the house of the prophet abu Bakr he said it twice musical instrument of satan but the prophet said leave them abu Bakr, for every nation have a eid have what a celebration eid and this is a day of eid Ah, the prophet not only is listening to songs, he has two women playing and singing for him. Muslims, is Muhammad allowed to watch women? Who, who are those women? Who are those women they are singing for Muhammad? Are they his wives? Obviously not. So who are they? Sexist slaves? So Muhammad having sex slaves in the display, playing for him and uh, doing entertainment for him, it's okay. But the poor guy, the blind man, he sang a song. It's not even 30 seconds. All Muslim wars is going crazy and some they want him dead. Some they want him to be fired. Some they want him to be jailed. Some they want him to be announced to be a kafir. He is a kafir. He's an apostate. All of this because he sang a song and you're a prophet having girls singing for him we do not know exactly what they are doing this is what the muslims are doing after filtration because remember the books of hadith is the books of filtration they filter millions of hadith stories and they make them fit with what they call the morality 
So anything will make Muhammad look bad supposedly is taken off from the hadith. Which means there's a lot of hadith we never heard of, we never saw, because the first one who started collecting the hadith, he said, I filtered anything is not suitable to be said about the Prophet. So this is after the filtration. We are not reading really the three sto two stories. Why does God, he don't want us to be happy? Why does God, he put his curse on the Muslims before anyone else? And why Muslims are so hypocrite? Guys, in the Middle East, the one who sell wine is a Christian, but the one who buy it is Muslims. You can ask any Muslim from the Middle East. Christian they sell wine in their stores. Muslims they don't they don't do that because the people they will talk about them. They wish they can do it. So what they do? They go to the Christian store and they buy some vegetables and some etc. And then they put the wine in the bomb. They said to him, please put the wine in the bomb. Actually, the, the Christian guy in the grocery store, he know exactly he's a Muslim. He know exactly how he will have to hide the wine for him. So he put it in the bomb with all the things he bought. So supposedly he went inside the grocery store and he bought uh, some tomatoes, some cucumber, and now he's going home. And his neighbor, he's saying, hey, what, you are doing shopping? And he opened the box for him. Yeah, you know, I did shopping for a tomato and cucumber and then the wine doesn't show, you know, or the vodka or whatever. Nobody drink as much as the Muslims. Actually, even the Quran is a clear witness that Muslims from the beginning of Islam, they are the drunk, the most drunk people to the point when they pray to Allah, they are falling apart. This is why the Quran says, Wala wa sakara. Don't approach prayer when you are totally drunk. Why? So you may, you may understand what you are saying, which means those people, they have no idea even what they are saying. They are not only drinking, they drink until they are totally drunk. And then the Muslims, they say to you, well, in the beginning, the prophet did not forbid uh, uh, drinking uh, right away because a step by step is going to be hard on them. Uh, was it step by step when Muhammad he forbid uh, uh, men from adopting their children? Or right away he said, I want to have a woman, I want to have sex with her, and she is the wife of my son, I want to have her. Muhammad, when he got sick, he can't drink no more. Suddenly he said, nobody should drink. What is the step by step? We asked him about muta. Why muta was allowed? What he was saying, it was a step by step to forbid adultery. Adultery is forbidden since the time of Moses. Go and read the Ten Commandments of Moses. How come the God of Moses told Moses what is allowed, what is not allowed, not step by step? And if it is, step by step what is the point of allowing muta is that a step to adultery closer to adultery or this is a step to be pure but this man he is god he do whatever he wish he forbid when he want to forbid he allowed when he want to allow and he do whatever he wish he is allah and muhammad is the God of Islam. This is why even he changed his name from Qatham to the praised one. Have you ever heard of a prophet his name is the praised one? If, if Muhammad is the praised one, who is Allah then? Huh? So Muhammad can watch women singing for him. Muhammad have women are a slave for sex for him. It's okay to have sex with the slave women, but it's not okay to sing a song. You know, all the caliph of Islam, they have thousands of slave sex. As an example, Harun Rashid, one of the caliph of Islam, 
he have in one location 10,000 10,000 female women they call them Jawari you know they are like uh, slaves but they are they, they, they divide them between kitchen slaves uh, massage slave uh, sex slaves dancing slaves uh, single slaves you know God slave if they are male so they are allowed to own thousands and thousands of a human being abuse a human being enslave them and rape them and then a, a person who sing a song he is not allowed and then a Muslim he will say to you do you know what the, what the Old Testament speaking about uh, uh, invading others and taking their women uh, the, old, the the people of the Old Testament they've been told by Musa as an eye for an eye my friend the nation of the Jews were taking all the all the nation as a slaves however we are the followers of the Messiah Musa he lived in a time where the Jews were are enslaved and Musa himself was one of the freedom fighters he freed them from slavery if you don't remember the story So the Jews, they get humiliated by the slavery. And they were slaves for hundreds of years, not like for a year or two. We are talking about generations or on generation and gen the whole nation almost is, is born into slavery. Not almost actually, all of them. The whole nation born as slaves. They did not know what the freedom means. Then we have Jesus who gave a human being different image and different future and different way to look at things. He was the first to want to say, love your enemy, bless those who curse you. And then we got Muhammad who want to take us back to the before the time of Moses, to the cave time, not to the time of Moses, before Moses. And the funny they say to us step by step, Islam is a religion step by step. Step by step to who, to what? Was Muhammad getting closer for better or clo closer to worse? Uh, later, you can give me. You know, you can. You can, uh, guys. I have a. I have a new account. An account. It's called Minds that come. You can communicate with me there. You can post links, etc. It's different from YouTube. Just make an account there and you can join me. All right. It's called minds.com slash Christian Prince. As simple as that. Anyway. Uh, my, my simple message to the Muslims. Our God is not the God of the slaves. You see, if you ask a Muslim, who is your God? He says, why your God? He, he created you. He says he created us to worship him. We are his slaves. What, what? We are his slaves. What's wrong with this God? Is God in his slaves? Isn't he almighty? Self-sufficient self as you claim Muslims? Is your God self-sufficient or he needs slaves? Why the Christians, when they pray to their God, they call him Father, and when you pray to your God, you are a slave. What's wrong? Even the mentality of this religion is about abusing. You see, it's a chain of abuse. Allah abuse mankind. And then he gave his authority to the prophet to abuse the mankind. And then the, the, the prophet, he, uh, he gave the authority of abusing mankind to those who called them caliph. And then the caliph, they give the authority to abuse mankind to those who they are, uh, they call them leaders. And then the leaders, they give the authority to abuse mankind to those who call them Muslims so they can abuse the Christians or the Jews and the Hindus and the Buddhas. It's a chain of abuse. And then the Muslim himself, he abuses his family, he abuses his children, he abuses his wife, and he married children to abuse them. And then even the heaven of Allah is, is nothing but, but a collection of abuse. 
Allah will create for me women for sex. <clears throat> Those women are just made for sex. The whole purpose of them is to be a vagina. Excuse my language. And Allah, He promised me that I will have in the heaven eighty thousand boy. To what? You ask the Muslim why they will set you to serve you. Eighty thousand boy to serve me. Have you ever heard of something is called a child abuse? The God of Islam, because he is so wise and so beautiful, he is going uh, to create in the heaven for me eighty thousand little child. And the purpose of those 80,000 little boy who they are naked and they look like pearls We don't know why they look so beautiful according to the, to the to the Quran description Just to serve me. I mean what kind of God this God is To make one person happy you enslave 80,000 child For eternity you see, at least slavery done by the man, it's temporarily, like, you know, a year, two years, and we die, and then I'm free at least when I die. In the heaven of Allah, you are always a slave. One man, Allah want to make him happy. He bring him 80,000 little boy to serve him. What 80,000 boys will do for a man? And by the way, this is the lowest position of a Muslim in the heaven. This is the bad Muslim who don't pray, who don't do jihad, who just converted to Islam and say Allahu Akbar. He will get 72 women and he will get 80,000 little child servant. The heaven of Islam have ranks, floors, divided to 100. And every floor have different entertainment and different reward. So this is the lowest one. This is the floor number one. This God, he want to make me happy by enslaving 80,000 little child. This is not even humane. Do you really Muslims feel happy if you have 80,000 little boys? You are slaves? Are you are you are you satisfied with the number? Why Allah did not make them eighty two thousand? I mean, don't you think eighty thousand is little? Eighty thousand? What they will do exactly? And remember, guys, this is a lie when they say it's about being a servant. This translation, you know, it's a servant, right? Okay, what they will serve you? You can go and watch the videos made by the Dean Show. They say to you in the heaven of Allah, if you see a bird in the sky, you, you wish to have it, it's going to be in your dish. You do not need, you need to say a word. And in the heaven, the Quran says, you will not do piss, you will not sweat, your clothes will not be have, will never have wrinkles, and they will never be ruined. So what what the servant for? You wish the food, the food in front of you. Not the, not the children bringing the food. It's a magical. And you will not have poo, poo and you will not take a shower forever. And you will never get dirty, and your clothes will never be changed, and they will never be ruined. So, what the servant for? Anybody can tell me. You know what I mean? When I say servant, okay, right now I have some tea in front of me. So I say, Hey, servant, can you bring me some coffee? Okay. But in the heaven of Allah, whatever you wish will be in the front of you immediately. And there's no dishes washing. Auto automatically, everything you do is gone. You don't even go to the bathroom. You don't have boogers. The Quran even speak about boogers. You believe it? You have no boogers. You have no snot. You don't spit. You don't piss. You eat, have sex. Even you don't have sperm. So the boy is for what exactly? Obviously for sex. And this is why the Quran described them. They are so beautiful, white like pearls. Even the Quran used the word zifun, which means they will not bleed. The Muslim they say other oh, that does not bleed mean they will not get it drunk. Drunk from what? Are you going to drink alcohol with the boys? Are they servant or are they going to drink with you?
So all the stupidity and the abuse of a human being and the mentality of a human being, because this is abuse for mankind, you know, when you when you teach a follower of a, of a, someone he claimed following God, that it's okay to have 80,000 little boys to abuse them. This is a community of abuse mentality, because in their head, it's okay. When you teach them, it's okay to uh, to ride the neighbors and take their women and rape them. It's okay. It's halal. You see, the Muslims are obsessed with halal and haram, but what is halal for them is evil. And what is haram usually is the good thing, mostly. The Muslims, they say to you, we are against adultery, but Islamic marriage is adultery. There's no marriage. The Quran says, one kahu. The Quran says, one kahu. You ask a Muslim, what the word inkahu mean? He said to you, inkahu mean marriage. Are you sure? Yes, I swear by Allah. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you that this is absolutely a lie. All right. I just opened a Muslim website. Alislam.org. You see it? I have nothing to do with the website. What nukah mean? The Quran says, go and do nukah to two and three and four. Even the Quran did not even start with one. Have you ever heard of a God teaching you to start with two at least? And then he says, if you cannot afford them, then you go for one, which means the last option. The last option is to have one wife, which is nothing but abuse. They will say to you, David, he have a lot of wives. David was a king, and David was a sinner, and David was asking God for forgiveness. Who told you that David was a good guy? Who told you that? At least David, when he was committing sin, he asked God, he repent, he cried, asking God for forgiveness. You Muslim, you commit your crimes, and you think it's lawful. Read with me. This is the definition of the word nukah made by the Muslims scholars, not by me. The word nukah literally, literally mean sexual intercourse. Your God could not find you a word better than nukah to say nikah, go and do nikah. Can't he? Can't he say go and get married? We have the word uh, marriage. Arabic is a rich language, exists before Islam, and Islam has nothing to do with it. Actually, the Quran is full of Arabic mistake and make the Arabic, the Arabic language horrible. We have thousands of words can fit. Allah could not find better than nikah, which is literally mean the F word. You see, here they are being polite. They say nikah mean sexual intercourse. It doesn't mean sexual intercourse. It's mean the F word. Say it as it is. Even marriage in Islam is distorted. Even, even children in Islam are not safe. And then we see a man, he is 54 years old, having a sexual desire for a six years old child. Six years old child in the Islamic calendar means she is five years old child. Because remember, the Muslims are using the wrong calendar. Everything in this religion is wrong. Happiness in Islam is only, you, you can have happiness, but the happiness of Allah is about this, sexual intercourse in the way Muhammad he allowed it. Whatever it is. And food, which is allowed, whatever it is. And that's it. Singing, no. Music is haram. Playing chess is haram. Uh, playing football is haram. Uh, what, 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 you, what, what you Muslims you live for? What is left? You excuse my language. You f, you shit, and you sleep. This is what you live for. 
you have nothing in your life except or I, I forgot to attack the neighbors too or to spy at the women neighbor to spy at their legs and then we the prophet the, the best example of Islam the prophet himself he used to look at the women who they are Muslims walking by he got horny and then he forced his wife to open her legs for him this religion my friend is made by the man and specifically the savage man for the savage man it is a religion of oppression the child is oppressed in earth and in heaven when you marry a child at the age of six this is oppression when you teach people that you can have sex with a child who do not even know what sex is that is oppression and just to show you the example of the muslim to try to defend the, the religion just to show you how dumb they are when you ask a muslim about muhammad marrying a six years old child they say to you do you know what was the age of mary when she gave birth to jesus i say how how much how you know they say nine years old I said, sure are you sure they said yeah. no no sorry they say uh, uh, 13 13 years old 13 years old let me type it in the screen they say, where do you get this from? They say, from Wakabidia. Wakabidia? Okay, nice to meet you, Wakabidia. We as a Christians, we go by source of the Bible. Anything else, we don't have Sahih al-Bukhari. But I will go with their potato chips propaganda. All right? Let us say, for the sake of argument, Mary, she was 13. But the idiot in the Quran it says that Mary, when she delivered Jesus, she was virgin. So let us say she was one day old. Who care? What does have to do with this? Mary, we are we are talking about a man. He is having sex with a child, wife, and then you are comparing that to Mary who deliver the Messiah without sex. What does have to do with this? It's madness, stupidity. Because they are so desperate. And if we if we say that Mary she was 13, that will be almost twice the age of Aisha. <laughs> Supposedly, now they are giving that an excuse. Do you know when Mary she gave birth to Jesus? We don't go by Wikipedia, and even if that is a true. Mary she delivered Jesus as a virgin. No man touch her. So you are stupid even to mention that example. Especially you must then believe in that too, that Mary she was a virgin. Actually, the Quran never mentioned that Mary she have a husband. If you go and see the story in the Quran, there's nowhere is mentioned that Mary she have a husband. Actually, the opposite, because the Quran says when Mary she delivered, the Jews they said to her, Well, you are a good woman and your parents were good. Why you are doing something? You are be, why you are being a whore? Excuse my language. This is what the Quran is saying. Because the Quran say that language, Bagia. So the Quran says that the Jews accuse Mary that she is being a bad woman who committed adultery. And then Mary, she said, she pointed her finger at the at the child, and the child he spoke in the cradle. So the Quran even did not mention that Mary ever have a husband. Because if she have a husband, the Jews will not come to accuse her of adultery, as the Quran says. But the story in the Bible makes sense. Mary, she was already engaged to Joseph. An engagement in the Jewish tradition is equal to marriage, except they are not sleeping together yet. She live in her parent house, he live in his house. So when the Muslim try to defend, they get their religion more and more in trouble. Well, if we go here, let us see here. Oh Lord. Uh, 
uh, anyway uh, uh, I, I just wanted to share this uh, with, with with you guys because honestly I feel so sorry for this blind man look at him I, I mean this guy honestly he need help you can tell from his face he don't fit even to be a Muslim and the reason he is you can like he have a nice smile because simply he don't see how evil Islam is they stop him from his work they will take him to jail they will investigate him and how disgusting he is and some of the Muslims says he is an uh, he became an infidel he became an apostate he should be killed all of this because he sang a song and you know what nobody in the world watch bleed dancing in the world more than Muslims number one people in the world who search for sex with donkeys are Muslims number one people in the world who search for videos of rape are Muslims number one people in the world who watch porn are Muslims and then when a person he sing a song he's the bad person I never saw a nation of hypocrisy as much as this nation my friend if you are a person who want to live a life which God he made for us a happy life that you can find with the Messiah not with Muhammad the Messiah he want every one of us to be happy until the last minute in his life but happiness in the right way you can sing nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with singing Especially if you are singing a, a song about love, God is love. Why not? When you sing a song of love, you are preaching love. It's like a preaching and the, the preaching the gospel. Nothing wrong with that, as long as you are not using a bad language or filthy language or bad 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 behavior. Singing about love is beautiful. It's the same as a preaching God words. This is what Christianity teach. God is love. The purpose of God speaking to us because he wants us to be an example of him in this earth, to be loving people. So our Lord is happy when you see you preaching love. And preaching love, not necessarily reading a verse from the gospel only, singing a song about love because people love each other. Uh, you can ask me about the Arabic later, but I just I wanted to share this video now today I'm going to later afternoon. I have a I have a, a Muslim lady who need help um, You know, we will help her to leave Islam. She have some questions and uh, We have appointment at 6 30 p.m. My time So maybe after that I can open the room. I'm not sure I can I don't promise but if I can I will all right uh, uh, actually, I, I wasn't planning to open for long. I just want to talk about this poor man. I feel sorry for him. Honestly, I feel sorry for him. I heard his voice. His voice is so beautiful. I wish I can play the video for you. He has a very beautiful voice. And obviously, this poor man, all his life is a dreaming, dreaming to sing in the TV. You know, there's many people, they have they have a dream. to, to, to So people, they hear how nice their voice is. What's wrong with that? He did not sing like a savage song. And you know what? The song he sang it, it's for a woman. Her name is Ummu Karthum. Ummu Karthum. Ummu Karthum, she is a Muslim woman. She is the daughter of a sheikh. And the millions of Egyptians, they used to stay all night listening. They are like, it's like a drugs for them because her voice is so beautiful. And she sings for hours and hours and hours, and the whole nation every every uh, uh, Thursday night they have like it's it's a big deal. She is going to sing on the radio. All of Egypt is home when she when she sing, and nobody complain. So you hypocrite, how come you listen to the same song from a woman? It's halal. A woman, a voice of a woman. It is halal, it's okay, and there's no problem with it. But when a man he sing it, 
and he is a sheikh, he is a criminal. Even the doggy don't like this. You see, my neighbor's dogs are barking. Even dogs are abused in Islam. Muhammad, the order to kill all the dogs. Have you ever heard of a prophet? You want to kill all the dogs? What's wrong with this madman? Even stupid dog, leave him alone. He is just an animal. Dogs are beautiful creatures who they are really our best friends. Human being for centuries and thousands of years depend in, in dogs to guard, to guard his sheep, to, to help him. You know, they are very helpful. They are smart, actually. Go and go right now in YouTube and see dogs who do harding. The shepherd, he do nothing. He just said the dogs are doing the job. You tell the dog to, to, to take them to the to the to the inside the fence. He, he he understand you. They are smart. They are useful. If I am in the in the wood, and you ask me what you prefer to have with you, a human being as a friend or a dog, I would say a dog. Because he can do to me what what a human being cannot do. He can hear things from far away. He can alarm me. He can he can uh, he can defend me. He's loyal. Human beings are not to be trusted. You might take a friend with you for camping, and he might he might shoot you there. You never know. Your dog will never do that. He will die for you. So why Muhammad he hated dogs? What's wrong? This man obviously he have a problem. And his problem is imported to the society today. He is dead. But his crimes is practiced by those who follow this man look what he said even even they call people are they, they call people you know uh, dogs they kill you and they call you a dog Muhammad the order to kill all dogs and then when people they complain about killing dogs he said okay you don't kill the dogs who they are harding or guarding anything else you kill specifically the black dog they ask him what is the black dog why when i kill specifically the black dog he said because the black dog is a devil even racism is inserted against animals have you ever heard of a religion teach that the black dog is a devil The Prophet of Allah, so so, ordered to kill dogs. And we were even killing dogs, a, a dog which a woman brought with her from the desert. Why? When the people start complaining, this guy is a madman. Everybody need a dog. Those are better when they live in the desert. A dog for them is a security matter. Otherwise, their enemy can get inside their tents and they can slaughter them without noticing. When they have dogs around the tents, they will be alarmed, they will be awake, and they will get, grab their sword to defend themselves. Uh, okay, let me let me see if I can find. I will find the video. Actually, in the same in the same link. Let me let me give you the website, the Arabic website. You know, the same one. If you scroll down. In the video, in the in the page, you will see the video of him singing. Oh, hold on! This uh, link is so long; I don't think it's going to go through. No. Uh, let me get you the YouTube one. Yeah, hold on. <clears throat> it is really this religion 
is weird, stupid, disgusting. Everything is upside down. Everything is beautiful, is ugly, and everything is ugly, is beautiful. Uh, let us see. All right, this is the video. Let me yeah, let me give it to you. This is the link. Oh man, where it goes? Yeah, oh, okay. This is the video. Let me post it. So those who want to watch it, feel free to watch it. Now, guys, today maybe afternoon after I finish with this Muslim lady who. We, if the Lord help us, she might accept the Messiah. Pray that she will accept the Messiah and she will be saved. After I talk to her, I will be talking to her around 6.30 p.m. New York time. So let us give it maybe an hour or two hours. I'm not sure. Then after that, if I have a good, still I have an ability and voice to talk, I might open and do a broadcast again. So until then, I will say, may the Lord bless you. Please don't forget to copy my links, share my videos. And tell uh, people about what we do because as you see muslims they sponsor each other they help each other to promote the devil christians they just watch actually i just received a message just a few hours ago from a christian let me read for you before we finish today what he said he said to me laugh laughing at about others show lack of respect and charity did Jesus such a, a teach you such a thing? Can't remember any help. This is a Christian speaking to me. He's encouraging me. This is a Christian saying that to me. You believe it? Laughing at others. This is a person who claimed to be a Christian, but he speak for the devil. He got hurt because we are exposing the God of the filthy Muhammad. He's asking me. You should not laugh at the teaching of Islam. And yet he claimed to be Christians. What kind of Christians those Christians are? So Muslims, they can attack our Bible and we cannot show the Muslims they are wrong. We cannot show them how stupid Islam is. We can't show them how disgusting Islam is. And if you show them you are a bad Christian, what kind of Christians those Christians are? Very disgusting. Those people, they work for the devil. They claim to be Christian, but the fact they are devilish. And instead of encouraging you, say thank you. Because now in Muslim, they will see how stupid, how bad, how evil the religion is. He said, I don't remember Jesus laughing at anyone. Do you want to remember what Jesus said, you, you, you idiot? Jesus, he not only did laugh at people, he did say to them, you are the same as your father, the devil. You are the same as your father, the devil. I did not say that to the Muslims yet. You are upset just because I'm quoting the Quran and showing how stupid it is? What if I quote for you what Jesus said? Are you going to say Jesus was not a good Christian? You are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. Is that better? And he don't remember where Jesus speaks such a way. You don't remember because you are a liar, you are no Christian. Because you never read the Bible if you are claiming to be Christian. This is what Jesus said in front of your eyes. And maybe now you are going to go and school Jesus about how he talk. There's many false Christians. They want you to be a Christian without teeth.
the Muslims, they can attack us, they can make fun of the Bible, they can they can insult Jesus, they can insult Mary, they can insult our book. And we Christians should not open our mouth to show the people that they are wrong. We are not allowed to laugh at the devil, Allah. I never heard Jesus laughing. Jesus, he said it clearly that they are, look what he said. I am allowed to say what Jesus said. But because you are a coward, you don't dare to say what Jesus said. This is the whole story. The devil feeling is hurt. So he tried to, to come to me from the side of Jesus. Did Jesus teach you to speak in such a way? Yes, he did. And he said more. He told me, I can say to them, your father is the devil. And you are a murderer like your father. And Muhammad was a murderer, and this is the reference in the front of us. So, not only Christians don't support us in what we do, no, they try to attack you and go against you. But thanks God, not all the Christians are like that. Those are the fruits of liberals, Christians liberal churches who teach nothing they call themselves a church but they are a business the same as Islam the same as Muhammad so thank you guys for being here and I hope uh, today maybe later at night I will be able to do a podcast don't forget to subscribe if you like what we do I'm a Christian Prince and I say may the Lord bless you and bless your heart and have a great weekend Christ is Lord, Islam is false. I mean to that. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.